Weebles, weebles wobble, but they don't fall down. Oh no, Billy, here comes the battle beast. Look out. Ah, we're going to get you because you're going to fall. Oh, cause, uh, no, you're not. But, uh, yes, you are. Oh, 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 where's Billy going? Billy's going to run away. Battle beast. Ah, mm -hmm. Damn it. I think it's true. Weebles don't fall down. <laughs> hey guys, and welcome to the Look Inside the Vintage Geeks Toy Room. I'm John, and today we're taking a look at some of my battle beasts. The only three to have survived all this time. I have this snake guy here. He's pretty cool. He's got this cool like staff. We'll give you a close up of that in a second. But he's got a. These guys have a lot of detailing. Battle beasts were introduced in Japan by Takara, basically Takara Tomi. See, he's got spikes on the side of his staff. He's got like a. It's like a pitchfork, and it fits right in his hand like that. Like I guess you call it a trident. Yeah, a trident staff with spikes on it. They had arm movement but that was it they didn't have any other articulation than their arms these battle beasts they came to the united states in 1987 under the hasbro line oh mine has some gunk on it i'm gonna have to get that off here sorry <laughs> the battle beasts in japan were part of a spin-off of the Transformers called the Beast Formers. But here in the U.S., I think they were always held separate, just as Battle Beasts. They had these rub-off stickers on them, and the like, like heat stickers, similar to Transformers, so you could see if they were Autobot or Decepticon. And this let you see, like the idea was you'd go into battle with these guys, and then you would, you know, you'd pick one, and your friend would pick one. You'd put them in the battle arena, which transformed, by the way, and uh, and then you would here's the frog guy sorry, and then you would uh, he's got this cool like spiky thing on his arm this like yeah dagger like thing, webbed feet and all kinds of detail especially in his head it looks great, but you'd rub off the sticker and it's kind of like a paper scissors rock there was I think fire earth and water. So, like, logs slow down water, so I think they win. Water puts out fire, so I think fire win, or water would win. Fire burns logs, so I think fire would win. You, you get what I'm saying, right? So, oh, he's got stuff on him, too. I gotta clean my guys. <laughs> but, uh, like, to sort of bolster the whole idea that they were part of the Transformers, like, to give proof to that... In Japan, they were in the Headmasters cartoon, the episode Rebellion on Planet Beast. We're going to see if we can get these to rub off, because I couldn't get the other guy to do it. And this is kind of not coming either. These rub stickers might not work anymore. I don't know. But I like how on this guy's frog legs, look at them, they're, they're crooked like frog legs. That's pretty cool. He's got a batleth. It looks like a Klingon batleth, right? That's kind of neat. But there were uh, four series, four years of worth of Battle Beasts. The first three series had 76 monsters in the series. And now I've got stuff on the Batleth. This is horrible. The fourth series only had 36 figures. They were like considered laser beasts. They were slightly different than these guys. But the first three series, it was pretty much... You got 76 different versions of this style of figure. Here's the shark dude. He's got lots of detailing also. There were three pullback vehicles in the line. And like I said, three transforming bases that were... Look at these scales. And the fins. I get distracted by my own figures. Missile launchers on each side. He's got these cool little markings, webbed feet, which are really nice looking. And this little, yeah, you see what I'm seeing, right? <laughs> As a kid, we were always like, what the heck? 
Let's see if his rubber thing, if his rub sticker works. Look at his head. His head's got some great detailing. Sorry. Yeah, I'm trying to tell you stuff, and then I get distracted by looking at my own figure. So, yeah, three transforming bases, which turned into sort of like battle arenas. It was kind of cool. So this is basically like 86, 87 time frame and going on up. Hey, this guy's water worked. Maybe I overheated them. Can you see that? I can see the water. Hmm. And this guy... I don't... I don't think I'm seeing anything. Wait, is there wood? Is he wood? I think he's wood. Yeah, I think he's a forest creature, even though he looks like he's under the sea. Yeah, that's a thing that happened, too. I think that Hasbro, Takara, Tomi, whoever, just slapped a sticker on the guy. So that's the other thing. You can find variants because you technically would have to collect three of each character to have the full set just because the stickers are different. Yeah, there's wood on the fish guy and water on the snake guy. And I don't see anything on the frog yet i'm just trying to rub it again but no there's nothing on the frog the frog sticker but there's that's definitely wood right can you see that oh i hope this is coming out on the camera because i can see the wood I'm trying to zoom in on it yeah you should be able to see it on the camera right yeah and then here's the water guy up close yeah that you can definitely see but, yeah, so you'd be sitting here forever as a kid trying to get these to come out <laughs> and be like, mine's actually water. I don't win because wood wins. Damn it. Wood floats on water. Crap. <laughs> the fish guy wins, you know. He's got, like, this little axe thing and uh, fish guy. It's shark guy. Why, why did I say fish guy? <laughs> shark is so much cooler. But, yeah, it looks like a some kind of weird pointy axe triangular massive weapon thing that pokes him in the shoulder when he tries to use it <laughs> all right guys i think that's enough right we've seen these battle beasts hurrah battle beasts all right guys thanks a lot for watching another video really appreciate it hope you enjoyed checking out the only battle beast to survive my childhood all the way into adulthood and uh see you next time when we go inside the Vintage Geeks toy room.